Hey guys, it is Mr. Van Lowe. Welcome back uh, from your holiday. I hope that you enjoyed it. All right, let's take a look at electric circuits here. So uh, you would have used the simulator, the FET simulator, which uh, is a pretty good time. And I hope you played around with it a little bit in addition to these tasks because uh, there's a lot of cool things that you can do with it. Okay. Uh, here we have a simple circuit with a light bulb, a battery, and a switch, and we're asked to label the positive and negative uh, poles of the battery, and there they are. So, uh, next, you are asked to break the circuit and insert an ammeter into the circuit. Uh, we say that it's connected in series. That means that it is in the loop, um, that you are trying to measure. So both of these ammeters are inside a loop. So it's it's a square um, in this in this example, but we think of it in terms of a loop or a circle. A uh, circuit and circle sound kind of similar. You might have noticed. Okay, the key here in our circuit is that it needs to be un broken okay a broken loop will not conduct electricity as you almost certainly saw when you were playing around with it okay so what does the ammeter measure very straightforward it measures current the unit for current is amps thus ammeter very rational okay uh when you add a second ammeter what you're going to find is that current is constant at all points in this simple loop. Okay, so we're going to find that we have equal current no matter where you put that ammeter. All right, next, part three, you are asked to add a voltmeter and use it to measure the potential difference across the battery, the bulb, and any section of wire in the circuit. Remember that when you measure volts, you're measuring energy per charge, okay? So um, that's one way to think of this idea of potential difference. Um, okay, so we connect our voltmeters in parallel, and when we add any component in parallel, uh, it's effectively creating a new loop, although sometimes it may be hard to tell that that's what's going on. So if you look at the uh, voltmeter here, you can see we're adding a new loop with the voltmeter. We are not in series here. Um, what that means, uh, there's a consequence here as well, and that consequence is um, maybe not so obvious, but uh, if this voltmeter had low resistance, what would happen is uh, it would short circuit components. So our voltmeters have very high resistance, and our ammeters tend to have very, very low resistance, ideally. Okay. Um, bum, 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 bum. This is stuff that you are supposed to do. Okay. So, is the second ammeter, um, as shown above in this diagram, necessary? And the answer is no, it is not. The, uh, the current should be the same in this simple loop as we discussed previously. Okay, uh, why should the potential difference across the bulb be slightly less than the voltage supplied by the battery? The reason for that may not be obvious, but uh, especially when we're using simulators, but the answer is that voltage is actually consumed by the wires as well. The wires, uh, even though they are good conductors, still have resistance, even though it's very low, okay? And because they have resistance, they're going to heat up a little bit, and they're going to consume some of that energy provided by the batteries. Not all of the energy is going to go to the light bulb, although most of it will because, again, uh, our wires have low resistance. Okay, uh, we're asked to add a battery to the circuit and make more measurements. I've not completed the table here. Um, that would be up to you. 
But what you should find is that more voltage, uh, because you now have two batteries in series, means more current, and that in turn will mean a brighter lamp. And all of this makes sense, okay? So more current, more charge flowing, and remember that our voltage uh, is energy per charge. So more energy to be dumped off onto that lamp. Okay, what can you say about the potential difference produced by a single battery compared to two batteries in series? One battery, uh, in this case, will have one half the voltage of two identical batteries in series. Okay, makes sense. Um, note that if we put our batteries in parallel, things get a little trickier, but we are not going to worry about that for right now. Although, you can always try it in the simulator if you want to. Okay, you are now asked to construct these two circuits where we have a series circuit with two bulbs in series. And we have a parallel circuit uh, with two bulbs in parallel. And remember, uh, for a parallel circuit, we have, not surprisingly, two loops. Um, and if we consider the voltmeters, we have additional uh, loops, but we're not worrying about those right now. Okay, uh, so you're asked to measure the current at various points in both circuits, and it's a little bit trickier with the parallel connection, but uh, you just need three ammeters instead of two. Yes. Okay, uh, so we're looking at the series connection here, and what would we say about the current through the first lamp in relation to the second ramp, lamp, not ramp, and the battery. And because we have a simple loop here, the current through all three components is constant. What is the relationship between potential difference across the first lamp, the second lamp, and the battery? The first and second lamp are going to have equal voltage, and that voltage will be about one half of the voltage of the battery. I say about because, again, some voltage may be consumed by the wires, but it would be a very small amount, okay? So uh, depending on how you set up your circuit and the resistance you used for wires in the simulation, you may find that the voltage was either exactly half or maybe just slightly less. What can you say about the relationship between the current through the first lamp, the second lamp, and the battery? Okay, the current through ammeter one and two, and by ammeter one and two, I am just referring to um, these guys. So we can call this ammeter one and ammeter two. There we go. Uh, so the current through ammeter one and ammeter two will be equal and they will both be one half of the value of the ammeter next to the battery. So the more of these parallel loops we add, the more current we are going to draw from the battery. And that can actually be a little bit dangerous if we have too many parallel uh, components. You can draw too much current from the battery, it'll get hot, you can actually uh, blow up a battery, you can cause it to explode doing such things. Don't blow up batteries. They contain um, gross chemicals that you would not want on yourself or uh, anyone else. Uh, okay, uh, what can you say about the relationship between the potential difference across the first lamp, the second lamp, and the battery? These lamps will have equal voltage and they should be equal to the battery's, battery's voltage or maybe slightly less, again, again, depending on how much resistance you gave your wires uh, in the simulation, where your wires would consume a little bit of that voltage, but not very much. Okay, guys, that's it. Uh, let me know if you have any questions or if you think I've made any mistakes. It is certainly a thing that does happen. And uh, have a great day. I will talk to you later.